everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Chell Chic and I'm back with another video. So today's video is gonna be all about how I transformed my patio. But before I even get started with that, if you are new here, welcome. I would love to have you as a subscriber. So if you could go ahead and click that subscribe button and then turn on your notifications so you can get a notification every time I make a new video. So truth be told, I really wasn't even interested in doing my patio because I don't really go outside. So I figured why don't I create a space that I want and maybe I'll go outside. So I went to Pinterest and I tried to look for some type of design inspiration and I really couldn't find anything. Everything was either too cozy or too simplistic for my style. So I decided to go ahead and use my imagination and creativity to create the space that I wanted. I knew that I wanted to keep the colors very minimal. I wanted it to be a serene space. I wanted it to be cozy chic, but I also wanted it to be very earthy and um, connected to the outdoors. So my idea for the video was that I wanted to show you how I recreated it. I recreated everything from the floors, to the furniture, so I wanted to show you how I did that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this video started. Okay, so I'm about to start putting down these wood panels that I got from Big Lots. Try to show you how I do it. So the first thing that I want to talk about is my absolute favorite part is the flooring. So I decided to choose this wood interlocking deck flooring from Big Lots and it was actually only $30 and I chose six boxes so it was about $150 or so and I did come across a dilemma which was that the flooring was too short. I could have bought an extra pack and sawed the wood but I decided to create a landscaping vibe by putting some white marble rocks that I actually got from Lowe's for only $5. So two bags got cost $10. And I think that it really creates a nice outdoor landscaping vibe and it really makes it look professional. I thought that the marble floors were definitely a creative way for you to make it look expensive for an inexpensive price. So when I came outside, my main idea was to maximize my space and I wanted to create two 
separate spaces. So the first space is what I call my cozy corner. And this is actually a nice black Windsor bench from Target and it was only $99. And then I decided to make it a little bit more cozy by adding a rug and three pillows. So these three pillows were $20 each from Target and the rug was from Target as well for $25. And then I wanted to bring a little bit more color to it. So I wanted to go ahead and emphasize by adding a little plant just to bring a pop and also make it a little bit more earthy. Okay, so then I want to go ahead and swing around to my bistro nook, and I'm going to come over here now. And I, my first idea that I actually have for my patio was some type of black and white striped rug. So I did get this rug for Amazon for only $35, and I thought that it was such a steal because all of the outdoor rugs that I actually came across were over $70 so this was definitely a steal so moving over to this area is a little bistro area I wanted to have a bistro area for me to be able to come outside and possibly work me to be able to eat and even entertain if I ever have guests I wanted to keep the nice black classic look by choosing these chairs from Target for only $54 and adding a nice light colored cushion for $13.50 from Target and then putting in a nice black pillow to tie in all of the black from Target for $20 as well. I chose a nice simple bistro table that was $31.50 from Target. I didn't really want something that was doing too much but I did think that it looked a little plain so I actually repurposed this kitchen tray that I got from Target. It was $17 from Target and I actually had it in my kitchen and I didn't like it there so I decided to bring it outside and I think that it makes it brings in outside and it looks a little more earthy and it fits my patio decor a little bit better. Again like I said I wanted to bring some green into the patio so I chose this nice vase with grass coming out of it and, and that was for $15 from Big Lots and then this small plant is for $5 and that, that's from Target as well. And then I thought that this Love Abundantly little sign was super cute and it ties in all the black and white elements and that was for only $3 from Big Lots. So definitely a steal. So then in this corner, I chose a plant stand from Lowe's for $50 and then I topped it off with a nice little sign from Big Lots as well for $3. So that was all for my patio redo slash tour. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And if you have any video ideas that you would like for me to show, go ahead and leave that in the comment section and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.